Hey, Gail. Kat, is this your machine you're bringing in for repair? Yes, I have taken very poor care of it, and I need it to be serviced. Uh, okay. I'll talk about the process here. So, uh, we... really Kat's machine. No. So, um, here at Seattle Coffee Gear, we have a, a repair center, and we do warranty repairs on a number of different machines, and we also just take machines in for people um, to do tune-ups and then just to fix things. And so, um, I thought maybe you could show us, like, if somebody brings their machine in, you know, out, don't have a warranty, just need it to get fixed yeah. or whatever, what you do, what they should expect. Yeah. Well, they bring the machine in, and the first thing we do is check it into the computer. We put it in our system. We, we take all their information, address, and all that kind of stuff, telephone number, so that we can give them a call. Okay. And um, we do also, at the time of them bringing it in, we do a, what's called a check-in sheet. Okay. And this gives us their name, number, serial number on the machine because we get a lot of machines that are um, same model. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that <laughs> everybody gets their machine back. <laughs> exactly. And um, then we also check in what came with the machine. Like this one has a water tank with it. It has the the drip tray, mm -hmm. brew unit, Driggs box, all that stuff. And yeah. we mark all of that. Okay. And then we put a brief description of what the issue is. Okay. And so we'll ask them, you know, what's going on with it? Well, it, you know, it's going through all the symptoms of brewing, it's grinding and doing all that, but no coffee's coming out. Yeah. Okay. So people should think about, like, when something happens, like, what happened right before it, you know, so they can, you know, yeah. they can, the, the most detail they can give us yep. helps the guys diagnose it much quicker. Yep. So then we do a um, diagnosis of what the problem is, mm -hmm. and then we call them with what the cost is going to be. And okay. the customer can then choose whether they want to do... The, you know, if the machine is not worth it to them, we will recycle it mm -hmm. or whatever they choose. It's up to them. Okay. And then um, we usually get them turned around once they either prove, if they approve it, we usually try to turn them around within uh, 24 to 48 hours. Depending on, I mean, generally we have a lot of these parts in stock, but sometimes if we need to wait for parts, it might. And but we'll they'll let you. them know at that, yep. at that estimate time how long it, they're looking at. And sometimes the parts are in Italy, and we do have to wait. On occasion, this is rare. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's months. Yeah. But normally it's within a week to ten days we can get parts in. Okay, cool. So All right. So that's what we do. And then we give the customer a call when it's ready. They come and pick it up. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, if we think the machine warrants it and the machine has some life left in it mm -hmm. and it's a good deal, we have the uh, technicians evaluate that. Yeah. We offer them an extended warranty. Oh, okay. And you have 15 days from the time of picking it up to choose if you want to do the extended warranty on it. Cool. And, and that's a, a year or two years. Or two years. One or two years. And, okay. And, you know, you get to choose if that's what you want to do. So if somebody's, like, you know, doing a big ticket item, like we had somebody who had to have a board replaced, mm -hmm. you know, that's a few hundred bucks. So, you know, it might be worth getting a warranty because then you know you'll have repair, you know, for at least one to two years. Yes. Yeah. And there are some machines, I mean, you get where they're nine and ten years old, mm -hmm. we probably aren't going to offer the extended warranty because on a super automatic, that's about the lifespan of one of those machines. Yeah, exactly. But if it's just a couple of years old? But then what about the work we do itself? Um, we have a, we have a warranty on that work too, 90 right? 90 days. 90 days from? And whatever we did to the machine. Okay. So yeah. if somebody has a problem, they can give us a call, bring it in, they and then if it's related to that original diagnosis, then we'll just repair it gratis. Yep. yep. Okay. As long as they've done all the proper maintenance and stuff like that. Yeah. That's Usually, a lot of these things are maintenance or confusion about how to use the machine. Yeah. So. And with the warranty, that's something to keep in mind. Like those tune-ups and regular maintenance and that kind of stuff, that's not included in the warranty. Like people still have to descale the machine. Right. They would have to pay to get gaskets replaced, that kind of a thing. Right. And that's manufacturer or the extended warranty with us. It's the same, exactly. same thing. Exactly. Okay. All right. So do you want to get your machine repaired, Kat? Is this, is this worth it to you? Do you think it's repairable, Gail? You took some miscellaneous part out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, this this, this Ooh, particular yeah. one has a steam knob issue. Oh, and it, yeah. It blew right off. See, it goes over here. Oh. So is that fixable? Sure. Okay. Anything's what? fixable. Yeah. Um, bring your checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that steam knob going to cost me? Like, you know, $2,000 or something? For you, $1,800. <laughs> make, make the check out to Gail. <laughs> Cash is good. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Gail. You're welcome.